Runs about to come out onto the track now for the fifth race, the late Harwood Linear Squire 30th anniversary stakes. First one to go down is number one, Johnny Daw. David Turner takes the ride in the pink and yellow striped jacket with the half sleeves and the checkered cap. Followed down to post by number four, Zane Zeus. Danny Wright takes the ride in the grey jacket with the red collar and cap. That was followed down by number six, Catwalk. Steve Harrison, the winner of the previous race. So he's in the grey jacket with the white cap. And then number three, Sir R. Gree. Phil Collington takes the ride, the black jacket with the red chevron. Armlets on the sleeve with the black cap. Two more left to go down. They are number two, Senor Double Check. Anna Wallace in the white jacket with a red dime and the black sleeves and cap. And the final one to go down will be number five, Des Bree. Jack Sherwood takes the ride in the black jacket. And this one's got the uh, green cap. That's the colour change there on that one. No red uh, on Jack's jacket at least. Certainly got the green cap. They are the six runners and riders for the fifth race, the late Harwood Linear Squire. 30th anniversary stakes, this race for pure better avians, three-year-olds and upwards. One mile or thereabouts is the trip for the fifth race of the afternoon, which means that they start again around about two-thirds of the way down the back straight. Runners to post for race five. Manager Rostrum, this is the late old Linear Squire 30th anniversary stakes. Runners being called in. And they're off, they race away. One mile is the trick. Catwalk was the last to leave the starting area through the first furlong. And uh, Johnny Dahl, the odds on favourite in the pink and yellow stripes, is soon prominent in the nose band as Desbury in the green cap runs quite wide as they come to the end of the first furlong. Senor Double Check is also pretty prominent in company with Zay and Zeus in the red cap. And then on the inside of that is Catwalk, who's now just the back marker as Sir R. Green and Plews, one placing around the outside, although now Catwalk now just knows his pass that one once more. Heading out of the back straight. Five and a half furlongs left to go. And in the nose band, Johnny Dor and David Turner out in front. Leads by a length and a half from in second place, Zay and Zeus with the Red cap, Senor Double Check is shaking along on the inside next. Then comes Desbury in the green cap, trying to improve around the outside, followed by Catwalk and finally Cyril Gray. Turning for home, they pass halfway. Johnny Dor out in front, David Turner just steals the peep. You'll see he's about three lengths clear from in second place, Catwalk, who's now just being pushed along. Then on that one's outside is stable companion Zay and Zeus. Desbury to the outside has now probably just taken second ahead of that pairing. And then comes Sir Gree and finally Senor Double Check. But with two furlongs left to go, Johnny Dor and David Turner, who has been there since the flag dropped, he's kicking for home. And the odds on favourite is well on top at the moment, clear by about four lengths. Desbury is running on quite strongly though in second place and could yet have a say. The front two are away then from Sir Gree and Catwalk. Entering the final furlong, Johnny Dorr, just getting a little bit tired perhaps, but still clear by about three lengths from Desbury in second place. Sir Gree is back in third and it's the odds on favourite Johnny Dorr, who's made every single yard of the running to win here for Gina Ward and David Turner. Wins by the best part of five lengths. Desbury second, Sir Gree third. Then came Catwalk and Zayn Zeus. And finally, Senor Dolchek. The full result of the late Harwood Linear Esquire 30th anniversary stakes. First, number one, Johnny Dorr. Second, number five, Des Bree. Third, number six, Cyril Gree. And fourth, number six, Catwalk.
Winning distances were four and a half lengths and two lengths. That's four and a half lengths and two lengths. Now on the official time of the winning course, one minute, 50 seconds. One minute, 50 seconds. So Johnny Dore takes our three-year-old race here at Fosslas this afternoon, the late Harwood Linear Squire 30th anniversary stakes. And former Arabian Racing Chairman, Miss Joan Ratcliffe, is now making the presentation to the winning trainer of Johnny Dore. It's congratulations to Mrs. Georgina Ward. Well done.